Welcome back, we got Evacuation Point, Gunslinger, Suicidal. I don't have any water. What am I supposed to do with my life? I had a conversation topic. I was ready to go with this one. I was like, oh yeah. I'm going to be nailing it on this one. And then uh, I started recording and it's gone. That's okay. That's normal for me. <laughs> it's, it's forgetting this stuff, you know. It's okay. Factorio is, uh, is not early access anymore. Factorio is a full release game now. Factorio 1.0 just came out like today or yesterday or something. I don't know when, but... Um, it's it's full release now, so I might I might do a series on that. I really like Factory. It's a really really fun game. I have uh, almost a thousand hours in it. I think. I have no idea what stuff comes in in the uh, in the newest update, but it looks cool. I saw like a giant spider thing. I saw some weird like shipwreck thing. I saw. That's all I noticed in the trailer, but I'm, I'm sure if I watched it again, I'd notice even more stuff that I've never seen before. Because, uh, I mean, you, you're going for 1.0, you're going to have more than just a big spider and a shipwreck, right? And what's the shipwreck got to do? Is there more technology in that? Is there, you know, there's all, there's all kinds of stuff. I have not read the patch notes. I don't know if I will, or if I'll just try and play it. I mean, what else has changed with, uh, with ratios and all this, too? I mean, 1.0 is a big deal. 1.0 is, is a big deal. Even if, uh, you know, just kind of like thinking about it, it's not really. Because, um, you know, all it means is that it's acceptable to release it now, right? Like, it's it's a finished game. It's, it's done. Um, and I'm guessing we'll still get new updates because... Yeah, so basically it's just a normal update, but with the, the 1.0 moniker on it. Which uh, which isn't super, super important, because like an ind any individual update isn't really that big. It's going to be bug fixes and, and stuff. Um, but the thing is, is it's 1.0, so there's going to be a lot of marketing involved. And if there's going to be a lot of marketing, they want a lot of features to, to advertise with the new update, right? So... Uh, Regardless of whether uh, it would, like, logically speaking, be a bigger update than normal, uh, just it, it probably would be just because they'd want it to be a bigger update than normal for it to be the uh, the 1.0 release. Even though it doesn't really have to be for it to be the full release, like they could have just done some bug fixes and, and called that. All right, the feature set's pretty good. Now it's nice and stable, and it was like it's already an insanely well optimized game. You know, stability's not really uh, in, in question with it. I mean, my opinion was already pretty much good enough to be a full game anyway, so I don't know why... Uh... Well, it's, that's kind of the point, right? It's, it was already good enough to be a... I mean, in my opinion, to be competing with, like, Terraria, Minecraft, and, you know, other such wonders of the, uh, the gaming world. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's well and truly a full game in its own right, and it was even before they officially announced that it was a full game. Um, so the the update wouldn't have to be that substantial for it to... It, it, it's more of a um, paradigm shift than anything else, but if, if they're going to market it like that, then there's, there's got to be some, some really exciting stuff in it, right? That's, that's, that's my opinion on it anyway. Since, since they're marketing it as a, a like, new version, like, you know, major version, it's, it's got to be a major update, right? That's, that's my, that's my opinion on it. So I might look at the, uh, the patch notes later. I might not, I don't know. I'm really, like, what I'm hoping for most is I watch, uh, Zisto. And I'm hoping he does a series on it really, really soon, because I love watching him play through new uh, new Factorio updates. If you guys haven't seen Zisto, by the way, like, 100%, go check him out. If you like Factorio, anyway, 100%, go check him out. He's, uh, he's fantastic. You'll probably have. And if you haven't, it's not like I'm sending much traffic over there, anyway. But uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping he does a series on it. I'm sure he will, because he, uh, he does a lot of Factorio. 
I'm hoping he, uh, he's, he's running a, uh, a satisfactory series right now. I'm almost hoping he puts a pause on that to, to hop onto the Factoria 1.0 um, release stuff. I mean, it would be a, a smart idea to do for, uh, like, marketing purposes for him because of all the hype surrounding Factoria right now. If you wait until that hype dies down to do your own series, that's kind of a, a bad idea from a marketing perspective. Just depends on whether he cares more about the integrity of the series than, than the marketing, but personally... I would, I would like the Factory 1.0 series, but I don't, I don't get say over it. And uh, if that's not what he wants to do, then I mean, watching somebody play something that they don't want to play is just, it's no fun. That's why I hate when, uh, when I'm not feeling it so much, because then I'm like, ah, this video, I just, I know it's not that good, because I'm not having fun with it, and then people aren't gonna have fun watching it. You gotta, you gotta enjoy what you're doing, right? People, people will know. Anyway, Factory 1.0. It's a thing now. I'm um, super excited about it. I'm definitely going to be playing it. I don't know if I'm going to do a series on it or not, but uh, we will we will definitely be playing it at the very least. That's not how you do that. This is how you do that. You'll definitely be playing it. Uh, maybe on stream. Maybe it'll be a good stream game for Fridays. You know, Friday factory. We are in a really bad spot right now. Okay, just get me out of here. I don't like this area at all. Uh, could be, could be good. Friday Factorios. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe might, might, might do a YouTube series on it. I don't know. I, I haven't thought about it much. Um, but I really like the game, so I will definitely be playing it. I just, uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to wait until. I don't know how I want to experience it, right? Because I got, I got to think about how I want to experience all this new content. If I'd rather experience it myself, or if I'd experience it through uh, through watching my favorite Factorio content creator, I don't know. I doubt it's a it's a decision to make. You know, because I like I like watching YouTube content creators, and to me, the uh, seeing them go through it and experience it is is almost like with me while I'm also experiencing it for the first time is almost in its own right, like, more enjoyable than, than experiencing it myself on my own for the first time. I don't know. It's, uh... It's weird, but I, uh... I really, I really like watching uh, well, well-made content by, uh, by creators that I enjoy watching, and, uh... Seeing, uh, seeing them experience it is also fun to me, so... I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see how I want to experience it, and then, uh, kind of go from there. Why do we have so many flush pounds right now? Get out of here, bud. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Okay. But it's super exciting, right? Factorio 1.0. There's new stuff. I mean, I haven't played it in a while, honestly. So there's like a ton of new stuff since I last played it. Um, like recipes have changed and like it's been probably a year maybe a year and a half since I last personally played the game so um, I'm sure if I were to play it there'd be a, there'd be a lot of stuff that's not even in 1.0 that would be uh, that'd be surprising me Let's just toss out a bunch of nades here enjoy have a nice snack sir A big old jump. I remember, uh, I remember getting Factorio. Ah, uh, would have been. I can't remember four or five years ago. Uh, whenever it was, it was shortly after it came out. Cause I remember uh, Zisto made a series on it, his first Factorio series, where he just kind of played it normally, and uh, I was, I was immediately sold on the game. And I bought it like immediately on the. Uh, well, actually, I pirated it at first. Um, oh, did we? Are we gonna only take damage from falling in this entire boss fight? Because that's gonna suck. If the only damage we take is from falling, then I'm pretty. I'm pretty mad, honestly. 
I'm mad. Okay, we, we did take some other damage. I'm not... I'm not super happy about taking other damage. To take one hit on King Flesh Pound is... It just feels bad, man. It feels bad. Should have known, because the shield explodes. Anyway, in fact, uh, Zisto did his first factory, so he pirated it at first, and I, uh... After, like, probably 100 or 200 hours, I ended up buying it on the, uh, on the website. And then they released it on Steam, so I got it for free on Steam. And, uh, I got, like, 400 hours, 500 hours on there. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a good game. It's a really solid game. Definitely looking forward to playing that. Super excited. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. No, go back here. Bye-bye.